Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to Tallahassee, Florida. I'm Paul Peck with UB Women's Basketball Head Coach Felicia Leggett-Jack. The Bulls play Florida State Monday night, 6.30 in round two of the NCAA tournament. Uh, has all of this sort of sunk in for you and your team, uh, not only what you did in round number one, but what you're facing in round two? Well, we're not worried about what we're facing in round one or two. We're just locked in to being together, locked in to, to represent Buffalo in our great conference called MAC. Uh, we're just really excited and humble about this opportunity. And um, we're not too high, we're not too low. We're just right where we're supposed to be. What's the challenge for you and your coaching staff to get your team ready in such a short amount of time, not just ready for a big game, but a big game against the 11th ranked team in the country? We don't worry about that. I leave that up to you guys. We don't think about, uh, we got had to play yesterday. We had to play yesterday. We played in two tournaments early on in the season in December, where we went out to Arizona State and played back to back. And we went out to Florida and played back to back. So we have a day in between. That's a whole bunch of time. So we're excited. You know, we respect everybody we play. Florida State's a great team, and so was uh, South Florida. But we are not going to really put a lot of energy on them because we do. We can get overwhelmed. We can overwhelm these are young ladies that oh my God, I'm number 11 in the country, ACC, fast-paced team, athletic team. We choose not to worry about that. We just stay locked in who we are and what we're trying to do, and we're just trying to make a name for ourselves. We're trying to tell our story every single possession. Sierra Dillard gets so much attention, not only for her style, but for her offense, career high 36 points in round one. I want you to talk about how good she is defensively, one of the top uh, players in the country in stealing the basketball. Where does that come from for her? It comes from all the four players on the floor. It's a collective unit. I think that we're, we're gonna get overlooked a lot by what we do because we have so many people that's doing the work. You know, um, Cassie and, and, and Summer do a tremendous job on the ball, and they have to really worry about them. It's a collective unit. Sierra's a, a, a piece of the pie, and I think that's how she would want it to be. Uh, her defense is great and is predicated on the fact that we four other people are doing their job. If there's any question about how relaxed your team is, all they need to do is watch the half-court shooting at the end of practice, including your ability to pop them in. Well, the thing is, I've been trying to let them have their success, but they brought out my competitiveness. So now I'm, a, I'm like one for three every time I shoot it. And it's just like, it's embarrassing that I'm shooting better than some of these collegiate <laughs> athletes. But the biggest story today is Beth hits a free throw. It the took, train, Beth the yeah, trainer. Beth is our trainer and it took her 27 times, but she made one <laughs> and we're, that's all we're locked in because we have amnesia. We believe that the only one that matters is the one she made. That's right, you <laughs> never know who is going to be the key performer for Felicia's team. It is going to be a Monday night second round NCAA tournament game against Florida State. 6.30 tip off on ESPN2 and on the radio on ESPN 1520. We thank Felicia and you for joining us on this Bulls Digital Update.